friends i am dr kuldeep mohadikar in this video i will be presenting my 19th chapter from my series literary pearls the title of the chapter is bacon's essays are connected with worldly success friends the age of bacon was the age of renaissance the spirit of man was awakened from a deep long slumber people in the middle ages were not an ignorant and slothful they were submissive and lacked experience they did not enjoy freedom of thought and action they were devoid of humanism they believed in and worship the power of nature in the religious field they blindly followed the authority of the church they had no sense or spirit of inquiry and research that is why they did not take proper interest in life uh, they believed in an unknown world the heaven when the spirit of awakening came sweeping over the continent england too nor deeply and extensively affected during the latter half of the 16th century and the first half of 17th century bacon grew up in this atmosphere of awakening and progress he took a keen interest in life he asserted his spirit of independence and brought an inquisitive mind to bear upon all aspects of human life he was animated by zeal for inquiry and research his province of study was mild and encompassed science philosophy religion literature politics and statesmanship thus bacon was essentially a practical man of the world engaged in struggle for progress and success he lived in an atmosphere of rivalry and intrigue this impelled him to devise way and means for achieving success he came in contact with all sorts of people and handled various situations and affairs the result was his rich and varied experience this wisdom and experience formed the theme or subject matter of his essays he laid down rules of conduct and practical life he had a word of advice on every matter for every person he had a word uh, he suggests certain dimensions and plans like an expert engineer for the layout of an ideal royal garden again he in his essays of buildings he reveals his sound knowledge of architecture he dwells upon rules of sanitation and beauties of structure he draws and depicts for us a royal palace possessed of all reasons he acquaints us with ways of simulation and how and when to praise is profitable there are times in life when one has to simulate or dissimulate for meeting a certain situation or finding over a particular crisis a successful man of the world cannot do without it to be in a habit of secrecy or dissimulation is both polite and moral at one place he says i quote the great advantage of simulation are three first to lay a slip opposition and to surprise the second is to reserve to a man's self a fair retreat the third is the better to discover the mind of another bacon regards it expedient even to tell a lie if he if it pays and believes in the proverb tell a lie and find a truth i unquote to a parents he offers his advice as to the breeding of child parents should not be stingily in their allowance or pocket expenses for their children a father or mother who does not nourish or brings up child properly ensure to come grief and prove a failure in life as parents hence bacon's essays of parents and children's concerned with worldly success like so many other essays of his we find abundance of uh, motos and maxims of practical life in bacon's essays for a happy and successful life a man must needs uh, sincere friends who may stand him in good stead critical junctures in good stead and critical junctures a true friend is valuable asset bacon enumerates the advantages and fruits of friendship he says i quote so again a man's person hath many proper relations which he cannot put off a man cannot speak to his son out as father to his wife but as a husband to his enemy but upon terms where as a friend may speak as the case requires and not as it so- sorted with the person i unquote in fact life has no charm without a friend there must be someone to whom a man may communicate without a hitch his joys and sorrows this would redouble his pleasure and halve his pain in his essays of truth he takes a via media or advises us to observe the golden mean and follow the middle course to his mind truth is great virtue and it must be never lost sight of it it is the basic pattern of life 
but sometimes truth may be uh, tampered with a lie pure and unmixed truth is not possible in life i quote a mixture of lie doth over add pleasure i unquote says bacon thus bacon looks upon everything virtue and vice is good or bad from the angle of practical life he moves and directs his thoughts towards one ever present goal the goal of success and progress he must reach the goal or beat the target by any means fair or foul with this end in view he blends moralism with prudence and idealism with realism this is the basic conception underlying in his essays he was a practical worldly wise man he and he exhorts others to follow in his footsteps he possessed shrewdness cunning tact wisdom and crookedness and he gave full vent to his thoughts sentiments opinions emotions in his essays he wrote what he saw felt and realized in life so this was all about from my side how bacon was connected with connected with worldly success thanks friends